what is up youtube welcome back to the channel hope you guys have an amazing day so far like always if you're new to the channel i want you guys to hit the thumbs up and only if i bring value to you guys through this video or any other video i want you guys to hit the subscribe icon for today's video i want to talk to you guys about seven things you need to do to prepare yourself for season seven we are just a couple days away from season seven and honestly it's looking to be one of the best seasons yet so there's seven things that i have learned over the past couple of seasons to ultimately that ultimately help me and it's possibly going to help you become a better player so number one positioning always 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 watch your positioning based on your teammates so you do not want to overextend and ultimately condone yourself or your team uh, by pretty much being the first one to get down because you got into a fight with just three other players randomly um, so look at where you are and ultimately look at where every cover is and your surrounding as well as all the exits possible for you to be able to run to if you ever get knocked or in all, most cases hopefully is that you just lose your shield as you just got ambushed in a sense. So number two, always be ready for third party. So the game has seriously turned into a third party central which is why you need to be quick at swapping shields and ultimately healing as soon as you no longer have any sort of shields. So this is why I said that be mindful of your positioning and ultimately always watch for covers and watch for exits in case you know you get in the, in the fights and then you, one of your teammates end up being uh, down as well as you're the last player in your team. So keep that in mind, always be watchful of the third party and always be watchful of your positioning. Number three, if you can't win a fight or lose a fight, you have to pretty much be ready to back off. If, you, if the fight turns into a full stalemate, I highly suggest for you guys to back off, mostly due to the simple fact that all the teams in your surrounding area that hear the gun fights and ultimately the grenades and all those things going off will be rushing to your location so you do not want to be that team that gets caught out and you do not want to be that team that gets flanked from the rear the sides or whatnot so always be prepared to back out out of any sort of stalemate fights or that none of you are getting any sort of knocks we're just getting damaged so back out be ready for that third party and ultimately that third party is going to come in and rush that team if not possibly rush that position that you were at previously at that point you become the third party for that specific team so always be prepared for that third party fights so number four master champion based on your game play style so the past couple of seasons specifically the past four seasons i have mastered one different champion mostly because i wanted to kind of just get them all to a thousand kills each but in this case i will highly suggest for you to ultimately just master one champion at this point the game has been in around for over a year so pretty much everyone knows how to play every single champion everybody knows what every champion's abilities are so highly encouraged for you to ultimately just master one based on your game style for me i'm somebody that likes to be in the head i like to be the first one to go into a fight so i will probably stick to octane for next season so i'm actually super excited about that i may check out the new champion but chances are I will probably stick to Octane until he pretty much gets nerfed or whatnot. So master one champion, but obviously have a pool of up to three champions just in case because you know you have teammates and they may sometimes may want to play Octane in my case. So I have Bloodhound as a backup. And if somebody takes the Bloodhound, then I have Pathfinder as well. So always have a pool of three champions and be flexible playing those three champions, but really just master one. So number five, learn how to use your vehicles and learn fast. So if you guys are not aware, season seven are going to be introducing vehicles. Um, they look like ultimately a small spaceship in a sense and they just move around the, the, the map. So this means quite a bit of different things. Number one, you need to seriously adapt to it real fast because the better you adapt to it, the better you're going to be just when it comes to general gameplay. The vehicles actually allow for you to do faster movement to a fight and away from a fight. So that's one thing you have to look at is the chances are that if you're fighting right now, you're probably gonna be third party a lot faster and much quicker. So you need to be prepared to swap shield faster, heal, or completely back out of the fight if you need to. So that means the gameplay might be a bit faster and ultimately may lead to, you know, a faster losses in some cases. So number six, learn everything you can about the new map. So this is one thing that I love every single time there's a new map that comes into uh, Apex because I'm pretty fast at learning when it comes to locations and I like to land in that specific location over and over and over and over. In most cases for me, it's always a hot spot. I like to land in the hot spot so be, and for season six and five was ultimately train yard. Train yard was my favorite spot to land because nobody knew where the loot was. Uh, each time you landed, you landed with four or five other teams and chances are you're gonna get knocked and then you were pretty much dead. So this is why I said like learn everything about the map, learn what the hot uh, drops are, learn 
to ultimately land what is always going to be a pistol, a rifle, and ultimately a shield. So you grab that and then you get straight to a fight. So yeah. Number seven, loot less, fight more. So this is something that I have seen over season six and ultimately five is that people still continuing to loot. The game is not a looting factory. It's ultimately just about you fighting. So you need to kind of learn to fight and loot at the same time in a sense. So what I would suggest is ultimately don't be the one that gets third party but rather third party the other teams and then just grab all the loot. And this is where you're gonna win. Ultimately, as soon as you have a shield and you have a weapon and you have at least 60 rounds on each weapon, hey, go into a fight. That's the key here in order for you to get the better loot because chances are somebody else already collected that loot. Obviously, if you are in an area where there's pretty much plenty of loot and there's nobody nearby, then at that point, yes, you know, pick up the loot and all those things. But you always want to continue moving to circle and ultimately position yourself in a better position so the enemy team don't just rush you. Always be prepared for the ambush aspect of things, but always be ready to fight over looting. Don't be cut out ultimately naked with your pants down because of the fact that you were just looting instead of actually paying attention to where the uh, enemies were coming from. So, alright guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the gameplay here. And without further ado, it of course, if you're new to the channel, I want you guys to hit the thumbs up. And only if I brought value to you guys through this video or any other video, I want you guys to hit the subscribe icon. Thank you for watching. Not down with the watchman. Dead. We gotta push that team too. Good job. Back up, back up, guys. Back up, back up. You're gonna get caught up. Back up. There's a whole different spot to the right. They're full. Right shield. They're downing, kids. They're downing. They're downing to our left. Last two teams fighting. Push him, push him, push him. Left to the right. Nailed that whole squad. 50, 39. Oh, nice. On fucking trash cans. <laughs> I killed that shit on TTVs. He was up top. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Shit, delete game. your TTV killed shit on TV. <laughs> 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 delete your TTV versus. <laughs> shit, your TTV.